Hi guys, today I want to give the shout out to Mahu Chronicle. And actually, he said that he doesn't know about Care Bear uh, so much. So when I asked that he still had to pick one, he decided to pick Steampunk Bear. Hello! So Steampunk Bear was actually my own design. I designed this thing to put on him and to pick the color by myself. So I'm kind of happy that he actually chose this bear. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed your shoutout. So guys, now it has been a long time since I actually had an older doll to review for you. And I don't even remember when was the last one. I mean, in the Sarah's Alamode series, at least. Da -da -da -da. Today I have for you Maya Bakery. So Maya Bakery was part of the second couple of Sarah's that came out. And this one is the regular version, and she's blue. And I got her second hand from Amiami. They have a few second hand dolls that they are selling. And she is missing an item. And actually, I saw that she was missing this blue item when I read the description. But she is missing the bow, the blue bow. So, same color, different thing. So I didn't care so much, like I kind of cared for this one, but I didn't care so much for the other one, so that's good. Anyway, so I wanted to have this Maya because they still have her at the Azon store in the exposition part. So they have her undress her in different new outfit and she looks absolutely gorgeous every time. And Maya is one of my favorite Azon characters, so having a long hair, blue eyed Maya is really really good for me so let me open her for you uh, it's not going to be as usual because you can see the item are not placed in the little bags as we would have with a like brand new doll so let's have a look so here is Maya and first I have to say she looks adorable like her face is always adorable. She has a totally Maya style and Maya looks. So, so because she's an older doll, you can see there is no flap on the side of the box. So her background is like those sort of piece, <gasps> piece of bread. I'm gonna keep the tape on it because otherwise I'm gonna make a mess. So piece of bread because she's Maya Bakery, right? And you have the picture of Maya in different position. I think that's really cute. Then let's have a look at the book. So you can see Maya's portrait here and if you open you can see what's going on with her. So you have her wearing the full outfit she comes with, with the socks and the first pair of shoes. And then you have her, see that the bow I'm missing actually. So you have her in her dress without the apron and with a different pair of shoes. And here is a limited version also in the bow's outfit, sort of. Then you have uh, the doll redress in other different clothes. So I don't think you can find this clothing again at the Azon store because this is pretty old uh, since she's the second Maya to come out. Uh, I don't remember what year, but I think it's... let me check. Um, I don't know, it's not written anywhere on the box. But anyway, it's pretty old compared to... Maybe it's written here? Nope, it's not written here either. End of the book. 2011, guys! So this is from 2011. So yeah, of course you're not going to find this fashion on store anymore because as on renew the fashion like every few months. Anyway. And then you have a scenery, and I, that's what I kind of like with the older doll, because you have the scenery of uh, the Alisa and Sarah are coming to the bakery to buy some breads. 
and Maya is there to serve them. It's kind of cool to have the little story behind the picture. So I kind of like that. And you have another picture of her, so kind of in front of the bakery. And then you have her in the bakery with the bread and stuff. It's really, really cute and adorable. And I almost feel bad because I don't have a bakery where to put her on. And at the back you have the picture of both the limited and the regular with bread and stuff. Cute, cute, cute. So let's have a look at uh, what the doll comes with. So you have this little piece which is hair accessory to put on her head. Then you have that sort of tie to put her on her neck. You have a second pair of shoe because like she comes with the both outfit, right? You have you can have the apron or not. So without the apron, you can use those cute little shoes. It's like high heel shoes and white and going around her ankle here. So it's it's pretty cute for summer shoes. And there is nothing at the back. And here we have the doll. So I actually wanted her for a long time and keep on like delaying buying her until I find her like the cheapest I ever saw her on Hamiami so that's why I got her. So she has those beautiful like hair and she's really really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like put on her tie and hair accessories and I'm going to zoom on her to show her to you from close up. So here is my new Maya and I absolutely love her looks like the long brown hair and the blue eyes and she has this sweet little smile that all Maya have. It's just so adorable. She comes with so this piece for her hair accessory, probably to protect her hair from the bakery stuff a little bit. Then she has this tie that you attach with a clip button around her neck. Then she has this apron with a hem because it's it's for Maya, right? And at the back it has this big big bow. Then underneath she has her dress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the apron to show you her dress better. So let's see. It's closed with a clip button at the back, so it's very easy to take off. Here we go. Here we go. So the dress is actually stripes blue and white. And it's like near the body at the front and around our body here with less a little bit and fake little buttons. And it has this piece of less like it's not really less it's like the full fabric is folded so many times and skewed like that to make like this accordion looking thing and then she has those little sleeves like finished in white with a little button it's very classical looking and then she has this dress falling down very nicely in stripes and at the bottom it's like a tour of blue with a little white ribbon all around. Then she has those little white socks and working shoes, so brown working shoes, nothing really special about them. And if you want to see the other pair of shoes is like white pair of shoes there, so she can wear both. So I think she's really really cute, I really like the way she looks and I really wanted her for a long time so I'm kind of happy I finally decided to click the button and finally get her. And her hair is like so many different lengths so I don't know if that's on purpose or if the person who had her before actually did that but I think it's pretty cool like that she has this V sort of shape at the back. So I'm very happy with her and I think I'm going to stop the video here. <laughs>
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tell me what you think about this doll. Do you like the older versions of the doll? Which one of those do you have? Is there some that you want but you haven't gotten yet? Uh, one thing I have to say is like her arms are a lot more pinkish than her face. So the body color doesn't really match like her hands. So uh, if you have a problem with that, you might want to rebody her. Also because she's an older version, her motion are kind of limited compared to the new bodies. So that's one thing you have to take into account about this doll. But she is really, really adorable, so I really wanted that one. So I'm very happy to have her. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. If you didn't, you also know what to do. I'll see you next time for something else. After whatever you do. Bye!